In the box, get straight bulldoze. Down with soccer camp and was like ready to be home. Yes, Luke. Come on, Troy. Where does he live? Uh. Come on, Troy. Come on, Troy. Come on, Troy. Between these both these men's soccer programs in the Battle of the Saints, it's a big 3 0 victory after the performance against Midwestern State last week. How do you feel today about this victory? Um, well, I didn't know it was our 60th uh, game against uh, St. Mary's, but it's a great rivalry. Uh, Q does a great job with his team, and uh, with the Battle of the Saints, we, we were happy to get at least back to uh, to, to nullify the points. We didn't have to be lost when we played them last time, so we have to point, or have to point back. So um, that helps out our school and the tradition of playing against the Battle of the Saints and St. Mary's. But uh, yeah, I thought against Midwestern, we, we all played them and did very well. And um, you know, it, it was one of those games where 0 0 tie would seem nice to come out of a place where they haven't lost in 40 games. But I felt like that was a game where that we could have won. And um, but I was happy with the, the performance this week. It's been really good. And again, when you're three seven and four coming into a game, um, it's uh, it's one of those things as a coach that you try to motivate them. But really, to be honest, they were self motivated. And I wish for the seniors like for Brian Booth and, um, and Terry and Mitch and um, Tyler Miles that we could have a better record for them. But really, our goal right now is to get back to 500, and that would be by winning each game that we play. Well, definitely, it's not because of a lack of effort. The Hilltoppers that come in week and week out and doing really good against very top-flight competition. Again, you guys are going to be playing Texas A&M International, who's ranked in the top 20 in Division Two and top in this conference. So what do you expect going in into this matchup against TAMU International? Well, they're a very good team, and I think they've improved a lot from last year in the conference last year. And, uh, they're being nationally recognized this year, and Claudio does a very good job with his team. I feel that we played very well again down at their place, uh, minus... Uh, a player, uh, we went down a man there, and uh, it's always hard to play with, you know, without your full loving guys. So our guys have been pretty disciplined over the last uh, since that game, and um, I think uh, you know, playing at home is always good for us as well. And, and I feel like we'll give uh, international a very good game, and, and certainly um, for us, the conference we can move up with uh, each one that we have in the next uh, two conference games. That we have. Let me ask you one last question, Coach. A tremendous passing here this afternoon as those touch passes were just on point all evening. And, I, and also a very nice job once again by your goalkeeper, John Kashik, to come off the line and make those saves, keeping the clean sheet intact this afternoon. Did you guys work on anything special for uh, this game or for Midwestern State that carried over into this game? Um, first of all, John Kashik's save was outstanding. Um, that, that really changed the game for us because I think at that point it's one nothing uh, for us and John made a great save and that could have made it obviously one one for them and they're back in the game but we knew if we could get another goal it would be difficult for them to come back um, and, and beat us so John's save was, was fantastic and, and then luckily in the second half he didn't have a good action which is good um, but, but I really think we, we do the thing about my team, our record's not fantastic, but we do play very good soccer. And, and we're just we're missing some, some key guys that score quite a bit of goals. Um, Danny Riley and uh, JR is up here as well. So it's it's one of those things where other guys have to step up. But to be honest, they have. But, um, but I do feel like we play great soccer. We just have a lot of third ones to the show. And today we got three goals, which is great. And this is our first win in a while. So hopefully uh, myself and you guys will enjoy it. Until tomorrow at 10 a.m. practice for our Coach, after.
after uh, after these victories, it doesn't look like 500 is that far off of the to achieve. So once again, congratulations on the big victory here this afternoon in the Battle of the Saints, the 60th meeting. You guys take it 3 nil. All right, I'll go, I'll go and four more guys right now this the 60th meeting. So I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Coach. I'm double check. Welcome to the show. So your first career goal scored to take the lead in the Battle of the Saints in the 60th meet. How do you feel right now about this, man? Not only did you come away with a win, you got your first career goal against your rival. Yeah, uh, yeah I think the most important thing is that we got the win. And so it means a lot more coming out with the victory. Um, but we've been working pretty hard in practice all week, and we felt good coming in if we could work and get the reward. And luckily, I was there and I was receiving the end of that in the first half. So it feels good. Spoken like a true senior on that one, but let me ask you, what was going through your mind? I mean, do you even know that you have no goals coming into this game? I mean, I mean, you're standing right there at the box, and that pass comes in nicely from Andrew Fox, and it's right on your feet. What's going through your head? Do you, like, just let me not miss this? Or what can you remember in the heat of the moment? Do you remember anything? I think, uh... Most importantly, I was just hoping I was onside. And I kind of had a glance and saw the linesman hadn't put his flag up, so then I was just uh, tucking it away and turning around and trying to celebrate, I guess. All right, man. Well, let me ask you one more question. As Coach has mentioned, it hasn't been the best of years. Uh, injuries have hurt this team a lot, as you guys got lost a couple of good goal score scores, especially at J.R. Ellis. But you guys are on the upswing. You guys are playing really great against top flight competition, like number five Incarnate Word, only losing 2-0 to them, and then drawing against Midwestern State, who was about number 13 in the nation at the time of that meeting. So you guys are going to take on a very tough TAMU international team. How do you feel about going on the road? I mean, coming back here to Lewis Chan Field and taking on another top flight competition team. Uh, like Coach said, I think we'll put the work in. We'll have a chance. We've proven it all year that we can. And when we put the work in, that we are a good team and we'll uh, give ourselves a chance against any team. And it'll be a big game. It's senior night, so we'll definitely be up for it. And just can't wait to get back out here. Well, definitely should be an exciting atmosphere. Before we let you go, anybody you want to say hi to? I mean, you just had your first goal. This is the big moment. Who do you want to say hi to? Anybody <laughs> on home? Everybody want to see this? Say uh, hi to my parents. I think they're in the stands, though, so I don't know if they're going to listen. Thanks to them. They're for really to be here. All right. Thank you again, Mr. Brian Booth. Congratulations. Yeah.